Sir, it's your lucky day. A handful of drivers in Burnaby were surprised at the pumps today when the Canadian Taxpayer Federation handed them back some cash. The amount for each equal to the gas taxes they paid on their fill-up. 33.343 litres. There you go. Multiplied by 0.491 in gas taxes equals... $16.37 uh, you're going to get back here today. The whole point okay. of today's exercise was to show you just how much you pay in taxes for each litre of gas. In the lower mainland alone, almost 50 cents per litre goes to government. It's not only the highest gas taxes in Canada, but also the highest in North America. And this year alone, Greater Vancouver will pay more to government than ever before. Overburdened taxpayers in the lower mainland, British Columbia, a billion dollars to all these different levels of government just in gas tax. This is literally highway robbery. Add in the rest of the province and that $1 billion jumps to $1.82 billion. Here's the breakdown for every liter you pay. 6.7 cents in carbon tax, 8.5 cents in provincial tax, 10 cents in federal tax, and a whopping 17 cents per liter is paid to TransLink. On all of this, 5% HST is charged. So you're literally paying a tax on a tax. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation says it wouldn't be complaining if the money went to roads as promised. And I asked myself this today when I was on the Portman Bridge coming across. Why the heck am I going to have to pay tolls on that bridge this fall when these guys are getting a billion dollars a year in gas taxes from lower mainland drivers? Add in the rest of the province and in less than two years, the B.C. gas tax could pay off the $3.3 billion Portman Bridge project. And some drivers say high gas prices are forcing them to spend their money across the border. At the Alder Grove border crossing, the U.S. Border Guard asked me where I was going. I said I was going to Toronto. And he said, because it's faster and cheaper, and I said, yes. So he must be seeing lots of people doing the same thing that we're doing because the price of gas is so much cheaper yeah. in the United States. Something to keep in mind for those who will be driving this long weekend. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored.